This is Cassie. And this is Jessie. And you are listening to Off Her Chops. Off Her Chops. Off Her Chops. Off Her Chops. Welcome, Pork Chops. We're here. And I have been put in charge of the welcome greeting and I'm just (laughs) bombing it. She's stumped. I'm stumped. Brain's not ticking today. I feel like we all have those days, you know. We do all have those days. Yeah. Today's my day. Yeah. Um, Low energy. (laughs) (laughs) It all starts with, you know, the posture. Yeah. We're both like, (laughs) (laughs) who? I don't know what to say. Uh, (laughs) Well, what do you want to talk about today? um, You know. An assortment. An assortment. An assortment. You remember like the Arnott's assortment biscuits? Fuck, they're oh, good. They're, <laughs> fuck, they're good. <laughs> you get like your shortbread. Yeah, and your mum and dad yeah, dip it into the coffee. <laughs> and you go, what are you doing that for? It makes it soggy. Uh, what else you got in there? Um, Those are the good ones. You went Tim Tams. Uh, I have to say, Rob Dog was in our last uh, ep. It was so good having him and the love. Love him. Yeah, the, the love that he received and that we received yep. and shared. And was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was monumental. Monumental. Um, and we took him to Flatbacks. Yes. Flatbacks. Wrestling, wrestling school. Wrestling school. To the stars. To the stars. Featuring uh, Sean Spears and, and. Oh, what do we call him? Mm, gorgeous. Mm, gorgeous. Yes. A- <laughs> AKA. Breeze. Breeze. <laughs> AKA. Prince Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and amazing time. Yeah. I mean, I have to put over flatbacks. Oh, I really do. Every time I go there, I not only learn something new. Yeah. Got a nut in my tooth. There you go. Get it out. Little, little, get it with the tongue. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 yeah. I only learn something new, but they they rejuvenate mm. the wrestling uh, inspiration, so to speak. Okay. Because they're such good teachers. They are. And they know how to talk to people. And it's hard being a teacher, I feel like, especially – wrestling training teacher mm-hmm. because there are so many different personalities that you have to try and teach and everyone responds differently to teaching styles. Yes. But Ron Dog and the Breezo, <laughs> uh, they just adapt. They are. They're, re- they're a good they're team. Very, they're a great team. They work well with each other yeah. and they are just very intelligent. They are. That's why I love even like if I just go and sit for a session because for whatever the fuck reason – um, like I love just being around hearing them coach because it's like, I'm just, I'm like secondhand learning. Yeah. And it's just like constant. And that's just as important as being in the ring. Yeah. Like just listen to what they have to say. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so shout out to Flatbacks. Huge fans. Yep. Yep. If you're in, if you're in the market for a wrestling training, cut up Flatbacks. Yep. Can't stress that enough. Yeah. Seriously. Um, you'd, you take a bump. <laughs> <laughs> Why not take a bump? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you actually hit the old shin. I did. I took Slash I ankle. took an interesting bump. Took a tumble. I did, <laughs> I did. I took a freaking tumble. I hit my shin real hard because obviously the ring is, you know, made of steel. Hey, it's not not made of fucking pillows. Yeah, pillows. <laughs> How do you spell pillow, Jess? P-I. P-I. <laughs> pillow. P-I-L-L-O-W. Pillow. Got Pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so hit my shin on a piece of the steel frame, and I was like, "Well, shit, that hurt real bad, real bad." It was in a match that we were having, a uh, t- tag team tournament, tag team turmoil match. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, just a regular yeah. tag team match. We were brushing off on our skills. Yeah, um, yeah. and it's, thankfully it was at the end of the match. And I just, you know. Wrapped it up right there. Wrapped it up. Um, it hurt so bad. And Breeze was the ref, and he was like, "Hey, are you okay?" And I was like, "No, but like, I'm, f- I'm, I'm, I'm hurt, but I'm not injured. So, no, but yes." He comes over to me and he goes, oh, "I don't think Cass is getting back in." <laughs> I said, "Was well, she all right?" And then he goes, "No, she's all right. She's getting back in." <laughs> um, yeah, it's just you know, it's like when you hit your funny bone, you just get it in that good spot, and it yeah. just stops you in your tracks. It's tough. Yeah. Um. But then, so we finish the match, went yeah. over. Uh, no, no big deal. Um, afterwards, you were like, fuck, I hurt my shin. Yeah. Put some ice on it straight away. I did. a rice. Rest, ice, elevation. Rest, ice, compression, compression elevation. elevation. That's exactly what I did, actually. Um, you did because yeah. you know that shit. Yeah. But then I was surprised 
couple of days later, you go, hey, check out. Shit. A whole week later. A week. Because yeah. I wanted to say a week, but I was yeah. like, was it that long? Yeah. You text me a picture. I was like, what the fuck did you do, mate? Yeah, I know. It was black and blue. And, and it had like the, the bruising had spread. Yeah, right down to my foot. Oh, my gosh. It was fucking gnarly. Gnarly. <laughs> she said fucking gnarly. It's fucking gnarly <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and I was like, are you okay? What's going on? So when I sent you the picture, that was a whole week later. And honestly, I was shocked because I was washing in the shower and, you know, you wash, you don't need to look at every part that you're washing. So, no. but I just happened to look down at my foot and I said, oh shit, what the hell? And I obviously knew it was from my shin, but basically like I hit my shin and now like the whole bottom of my foot was bruised and swollen and and then even like a week after that the other side of my of my um ankle and my calf was all bruised it was so strange I I want you to get it checked I mean I'm fine I have like full mobility like there's nothing stopping me except the fucking bruise hurts and then I think because I hit it so hard like I I don't have feeling in some of my shin. (laughs) Yeah, but I think it's just the skin, you know, damage. Let me whack it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, yeah, that was – I wasn't expecting that from your Monday night. Nah. We were to roll around and and bam. Yeah. Fuck your shin. Got me real good. Damn. (sighs) Yeah. (laughs) That's the the story of the week. (laughs) That's all I've got to say on the matter. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dead. Um, so exciting news. It's it will it was posted a while ago. Yeah. But I just forgot to mention it. What? Uh Paragon. Yes. We were uh, announced. Yep. As Paragon Talent Agency Talent. <laughs> <laughs> we were the latest signees of the Paragon Talent Groups. Yeah. Um very Roster. exciting. Roster. Roster. There you go. There you go. Roster. Uh very exciting because Steve, we put him over. Yep. Uh his Company <laughs> talent group, talent group, um, officially part of. Yep. Very exciting. Yep, get the ball rolling. Yes, you know, um, waiting for that green card. <laughs> yeah, waiting for the, waiting for that visa. <laughs> um, and there was a lot of uh, love. There was on the comments. Yep. Um, a lot of people excited for us. Yep, which was nice. Yeah, because social media, it's rare to have. Love a uh, good day on social media. It is. <laughs> Let's be honest. It is. Um, and I feel like that's something we we kind of not stumbled onto, but when we were back in Australia, social media wasn't really. It was a, obviously around. It hadn't taken off, but it w- had taken off. It wasn't like the marketing uh, like thing just that it is now. It is today. Yeah. So when we moved over, we had maybe a hundred followers on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Very cash, <laughs> you know. Had Twitter, didn't use it. Yeah. Had Facebook, didn't use it. it yeah. Well, I just used to check in. Just yeah. so I thought that was oh yep, check in that here. Was a thing. And people will like my check in. <laughs> Very strange. And then let's make my teeth. Hang on. What did you eat? Nuts. Nothing. As well? I have oh. eaten. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. yeah, I can see it. Got it. Bit of bread. <laughs> um, Bit of bread. <laughs> Put that cups. on the ground. <laughs> Um, and then when we got to the US of A, <laughs> United States, United States of America. America, and became somewhat public figures mm-hmm. in NXT, yeah. um, we kind of realised how big social media was. Yeah, and over the years, it's fucking just it just it's only getting insane. Bigger. Yeah, it's insane. So I remember when we were in NXT, we kind of had uh, not issues, but it was kind of we had to learn how to deal with social media, yeah, which was hard yeah. um, because there is love on social media yep. but there's a lot of hate mm. and we were kind of exposed to that. Um, one thing I love that we learnt probably too late were the quality filters. Oh, I wish I had learnt about that five years prior. It would have saved me a lot of mental – A lot of tears. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. If you don't know what the quality filter is, it's on Twitter. Yeah. Put that in the advanced settings. Yep. Click that bad boy on, and you only see uh, mentions from like people you follow or verify. There's a couple of well, people you that you've like interacted or with. interacted yeah. with. Yep. Yep. So it just sifts through all the negativity, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. And to be honest, I rarely read stuff. But I've tried to go on a little bit more and read recently, just because with the podcast, I like to okay, know what people get are some thinking. feedback. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, and it's been it's been good, but I highly suggest the quality filters if you struggle with social media because yeah. it's such a Mental 
Well, and as well, like we're in a position right. where we have to use social media. Exactly. Um, and, and I feel like a lot of people think that they have to use it because it is such um, a, a – a tool. It is such a tool and it's like you it's the easiest way to build your brand. It really is. And we've worked hard to build our following. Yeah. You know, like there are some times where we're like we go back and forth over content yeah. and, and we really try hashtags. Like, like it's just yeah. it's a whole thing. And it took us a while to like figure out what we wanted our social media brands to be. Obviously with WWE they had to be one thing. Mm-hmm. It was all Peyton Royce Billy Kay, mm-hmm. Iconics. Now we are in this new era where it's our brand. It's yeah. us. I love – and I love the having the freedom of that now. Yep. It was a surprising, like, relief. Yeah. I was like, oh, having I don't – Having the names I changed. I don't have to ask permission to post a, <laughs> a very semi-risque photo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I finally was able to post that nude pic for yeah. my birthday. Very classy nude yeah, pic. Yeah, very classy. Couldn't see anything, just a little oh, – Just um, implied. Implied mm. nude. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so it's just, it's nice being able, like you said, to recreate our own brands on social media. Yeah. Um, there is still hate on social media. That's never going to go away. I just wish people would like teach their kids about it. Well, and I mean, to teach your kids about it, you've got to realize that you're fucking doing it yourself. Exactly. So many times I post like a snippet or something of a TikTok dance that I did and I just get reamed reamed For because what? I did a fucking people think it's stupid and it's like okay tell me how the fuck me dancing on an app impacts your life negatively yeah. that you have to openly on a public forum berate me it doesn't make sense like it, it really does and I think just people don't realize what they're doing no and it can be so toxic because like you said it's a public forum if you are choosing and my best is when someone will say shit about you, uh, fuck, big fat whore, fuck, yeah, big fat whore, <laughs> big fat whore, Cassie Lee, and they'll tag you in it. I'm like, I know. Well, wait, yeah. so you've decided to go on a public forum and tag this person and say something negative yeah. and want them to read it. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's a just a plain bully. It really is. All these like trolls and stuff. It's like I think people just really need to watch what they say. And it's just, like I just don't get it. I don't understand why you would want to – tear somebody down on a public forum. I've never understood that. And even in like the world of wrestling, like you might not like a certain wrestler, so you decide to tweet them, you suck mm. or you you can't wrestle, yeah. you shit. Retire. Yeah. Some some dumb shit. And it's like there's a point where it's like, okay, they don't like me because I play the bad guy on TV. And then there's a point where it's like, okay, this person's just trying to be a nasty asshole. Yeah. And it's like if – God forbid, if anything happened to that person that you were talking shit on and and they were no longer in this world, you'd be the first one to say, damn, he was so underrated or damn, she was so good on the mic or whatever it is. Like She had the world in her feet or Exactly, like yeah. the future was so bright. And it's like, why do people not think of that? Because social media impacts people's mental health so much more than you could possibly fucking 100%. imagine. When we first got up to the main roster, like NXT – NXT was like the the fandom mm. was so cool. The love was there. The love was there. Yep. Even though we played bad guys, like yep. there, there was love for it. As soon as we got to the main roster, I was like, holy shit. The audience just multiplied. Completely different audience. And I was like, I felt ugly. I felt fat. I felt like I had no idea what the hell I was doing. And I realized it's because that's what I was reading on social media. Mm. It completely destroyed my confidence. I had nothing and I just felt like – Worthless. I felt fucking worthless. Yeah. And, it, like, it took me so long to realise it's because of these comments of, on social media. Yep, yep. And even if – like, if you think it's funny, it's not. If you think it's a joke, it's not. Yeah. You need to know that if you put something out in the world negatively – Someone's going to read it. Yeah. And it, I remember the the only time – I feel like I've been pretty good. You with, have. With blocking this shit out. Yeah. I remember I used to see you struggle, so I went yeah. into mum mode yeah. and was just like – Yeah. I'll get – like we're through that shit. But the one time I really struggled with social media was when the Iconics broke up. Yeah. Because every single dirt sheet mm. put out uh, that – WWE decided to break us up because Peyton was a star. Peyton was going to be a star. Peyton was going to be next cha- – all this shit. God. So they had made the decision yeah. from rumours yeah. that you were the star and I was the big piece of shit. Yeah. And 
because of people replying so much to a you WWE tweet, it, yeah. they would sift through my quality filter and everything was she should retire, <gasps> she should get released, she should just leave, she should go back to Australia. Oh, my she's, gosh. She's the shits, she's oh going to be gosh. nothing, Peyton's a star, she's crap. All, and I was like – I was like shook because obviously like I've never claimed to be the the, the technical uh, grappler. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's not that's not me. But I was like I w- and but it was constant. Yeah. For Just weeks. Didn't stop. And I was so like taken back. Yeah. Because I was like why and I was hurt because I was like why don't these people understand how I'm feeling? I've just lost they don't. I've lost my tag team partner yeah. and and she's you know, everyone's saying that she's going to be the next big thing, which I always thought you were because you're um, incredible in my eyes. Thanks. You're, no pun intended, my inspiration. Um, so I always knew that and I wanted that for you, but I didn't understand why I was getting dragged through the mud. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like that. for some fucking unknown reason, one person has to, you know, go on to – I don't know, grand, what is that saying? Um, Greener pastures. Yeah. Is that death? Is that? <laughs> no. He says. Is that death? <laughs> Did we die? <laughs> One person has to go on, which means the other person's got to fucking be nothing. Yeah. And it's like, why, why is that a thing? And also the fact that this was coming from dirt sheets is like, it's, it's, it's almost worse than it just coming from your wrestling fan. Yep. And yep. because it's like, people like wrestling fans go to the dirt sheets for information and they trust the dirt sheets. And, it's and this wrong. is just a rumor. Yep. Like, who the fuck told you what you're saying is real? Yeah. It's, the- it's and, and that's it. It's all speculation. It's all yeah. it's all taken out of context with somebody in the company Everything. that did an interview or one of these like yeah. uh, uh, partner calls that used to get leaked or whatever yeah. that shit was. But that was the first time I'd really struggled with it, and I, I'll admit, I cried yeah. because I I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know alone. what to do either. You know, that was a, such a hard time for us. I don't think people really understand what we were going through behind the scenes. We were just taking it day by day yeah. and we were lost and scared so and lost. didn't know what and had was no happening. Help and no. it was like sink or swim. And we were just trying to make the best out of it. Going up um, Shit Creek without a paddle. Without a paddle. <laughs> no paddles in sight and Shit Creek. <laughs> Fuck it all. And it just makes me sad because I wish that they teach – I wish that they taught social media in school. I mean, they might in twenty years when they realize the effects it has. It 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 could like destroy the world seriously. Because imagine what social media is going to be like in twenty years. I don't want to know. Like that's fucking scary. I know. Like how many platforms are there now? You've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, you've got Instagram, you've got Snapchat, you've got TikTok, TikTok. you've got Twitch, yeah. you've got YouTube. Yeah, there's yeah. <laughs> I know. There's so many. Like, what's going to happen? I'm in scared 20 years? for our kids because, like, yeah. when we were growing up, the closest thing to social media I had was Bebo, which hey. <laughs> people don't even remember, but I fucking love. Oh my gosh! But that was about like you know, decorating a blog page yeah. and putting out your favourite song. It was it had nothing to do with like your image giving and, your yeah. opinion about this, that and the next yep. and you being the expert on it. But when I was in high school, it was all about MSN Messenger. I fucking loved you know? MSN. And when my dial-up wouldn't work, I had the <laughs> shits for some, Mum, why isn't the internet working? Yeah, turn it on. Or, off, sorry, turn or, it on. Or if the phone rang, it, it would fuck yeah, up your fuck internet. Up Get out the phone! <laughs> And then you did, it was yeah. simple. You had a little contacts list. People go, uh, hi, ASL. 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 Sex location. Sex location. <gasps> Holy know? shit. Do you remember that one? It was a website and it was called Chat Roulette. No. Do you remember you, you Chat remember, Roulette? Yeah. Rob, do you remember that one? Holy shit. Chat yeah. Roulette. It was like a chat room, but um, it was on webcam. So you had to have mm-hmm. a webcam. So anyone in the world who's on it at any that time, so funny. you click it. And if you like, talk to them and then at any point you can click and go to the next person. Like if you don't want to talk to them anymore, but so many times you'd click to the next camera and it'd just be a dick or, oh. or tits or <laughs> something or people having sex. Oh like it was God, crazy. So funny. It was crazy. That's wild. Um, I just mentioned Rob Dog, uh, producer Snugs and Rob Dog are uh, still in the building. Yep. Um, so shout out to them. <laughs> uh, back to Dixon. and <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, nerve wracking to think where it'll be, and I just I I really do hope uh, people just get off this 
troll shit. Well, I think as well there's like your group of people who have no idea that what they're doing to people's psyche mm-hmm. and then you've got your people who are doing it on purpose. Mm-hmm. So I saw a screenshot recently and I don't remember who posted it but but some rando tweeted or messaged this person saying um, you're a shit dad, for example. Ugh. And then the person who I don't remember who it was, let's say it was a celebrity. Yep. The celebrity responds and says, oh, what can I do to be better? And the person responds, I'm so sorry. I didn't think you would see this. I was just being a troll. And it's like, that's exactly what trolls think, that it's not going to be yep. seen, that their words have no weight no and, and everything. Sorry. You have to assume. Uh, everything gets You have seen. to assume you're, you're saying this to someone's face. Yeah. And – and there are so many instances where people do respond and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It was sorry. just a joke. It was just a joke. And it's no, like, it wasn't. no. And and why? Yeah. Like there's just no point to it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I just, I would love people, I urge people just to stop yeah. and have a think before you fucking say something yep. and push, tweet, post, send, whatever. Well, and as well, it baffles me because it's like you go on any job um, interview, they are searching your social media. Yeah. Like you're, you're, and that's a thing these days, their background checks include all social media platforms. Yep. So yep. if they can see you're being an absolute dickhead, yeah. Hey, fucking jokes on you, mate. Cause you yeah. ain't getting that job or promotion. Yeah. So you just shot yourself in the foot, you yep. big dummy. <laughs> anyway, that's our rant on social media. Yeah. I thought this week we could, cause social media can be a bit of a downer. Yeah. So I thought let's, let's fucking flip it on its so, uh, head side. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and uh, I got producer Snooks to tweet out uh, for the pork chops yep. to send a shout out. I love it. Like Richard Mercer's love song dedications. <laughs> 106.5. <laughs> so just to say that there is love on social media. Yeah. So let's oh. see what the pork chops, who they want to sh- do a I shout love out to. you just to. turn it around. Yeah. Be your make, good person. Make, thank you. <laughs> thank uh, you. So I have good people in my life. Yeah. Looking at all you three. Oh. Hey, get off your phone, Robbie. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, so slide them over. Okay. Can I fix your hair? Please. There you go. Thank you. Got it. I haven't oh, washed it still. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I just bit- Look at Snoop's face. <laughs> He's like, the anxiety. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. You go first. How does that oh. make you feel? He's spreading them out. Now Oof. Now it's like a fun hat. Big. Sure. Okay, shout out. Un- uniquely Devon, un- at underscore sincerely Devon says, <laughs> sorry, shout out, oh, shout out to Jessica and Cassie for just being them. Their stories and their genuine love for one another is magnetic. Great word. Oh, magnetic. We need more of this in the world. I cannot wait for inspiration to return to the ring. Also, oh. Snogs, you are a r- wonderful producer. Thank you for off her chops. Oh, my. Gosh, this that is what I'm so talking nice. about, and I feel like you didn't mean this to be about us. No, I was like, <laughs> shout out to me, mum, to for your people, paying me rent or something <laughs> like that. Oh, oh that's really thank sweet. Thank you so much, sincerely, Devon. Devon, you're a sweet. This is what the world give her a needs follow. More of yes, love, beautiful. Next one. I'll get a picture. Oh, I got a picture of a dog. Oh, heartbreak, Chris at Chris Just. <laughs> Can they shout out or give condolences uh-huh. to my doggy Olive? Oh. She passed three weeks ago and I'm still having a hard time. Oh. And I'm legit going to cry looking at these pictures. Um, <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, my God. It looks like Sheriff. I, oh, I, oh my gosh. I'm so I am sorry. So Chris. sorry. She Olive. looks like an absolute freaking sweetheart. Dude, and our, our pets are our family, you know. They really are. And I'm glad that she was in your life yeah. for however long she was. Yeah. And that picture of you and her, like, just hold on to that. Get that framed, Aww. you know. Put it up in your kitchen maybe. Now I just want to go scratch my dogs. I know. <laughs> but shout out to Chris. To Chris. Chris and Olive. Chris and Olive. Well, Ollie or Olive? I'm sorry. Olive. Olive. olive, O-L-I-V-E, like an Beautiful. olive. Like an olive. Mm. Beautiful. Armando Gonzalez at Mando847. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my dad who turned 49 yesterday. Thank you for constantly having my back and the unconditional love. Oh, yes. hell yeah. Love Shout that. Shout out to your dad. Happy B-Day. Yep, the big 4-9. Big 4-9. Next year, big 5-0. Half century, mate. Shit. Shit. You're old. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Another picture. Oh, I love people sending <laughs> pictures in. This is beautiful. Jimmy at Jimmy Dim Simmy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Shout out to my much better. Well, sorry. Sorry again. Shout out to my much, much better half yep. and baby mama Zoe Aww. for holding down the fort during lockdown in Melbourne. Oh, hell yeah. Raising our three kids whilst working full time from home oh. and having all three kids at home at the same time due to lockdown <laughs> while I'm off at work every day. The woman is a saint. Aww. And then he did a reply. Also, better shout out to the kids too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jack is 10. Jo- and Joel's five and happy birthday to our littlest, littlest one, Zara, who is two today. Aww. And they are freaking adorable. Oh, my God. I love this. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Women, mums, superheroes. Dude, I, I damn. Love that. You need a strong woman in your life because they get shit done. Bex the Destroyer at Demon Nex underscore says. Demon. Demon Nex. <laughs> Hi, Snoogs. I would love to give a big shout out to my amazing partner, Martin. I want to thank him for all the love and support he has given me while I went through the tough mental health journey. Unconditional is the gift that keeps on giving and I am forever grateful. Love from New Zealand. Oh, this is amazing. Yep. That's beautiful. Yeah. And because having a partner that will stand by you in mental health. Especially, yeah. Because that's not easy. It's not easy. Because we've we've dragged through well, it, it, it impacts people around you as well. So, yeah. so I mean, and you should stick through. 100%. You know, yeah. If, not if saying if it's the easy, but you should. That yep. is the right thing yep. to do. So that's amazing. Very good. Shout out to, to you for overcoming that as well. Yep. Uh, Andrew Begley mm. at Andrew NLSE. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the essential and frontline workers yes. here in New South Wales. Oh, hell yeah. And around Australia. Uh-huh. To paraphrase a quote from MASH, a TV yes. show, if you ask me, you're all superheroes. Yeah. Love that. Oh, Hell so yeah. good. Shout out to all essential and frontline workers around the world yeah. because this pandemic has just fucking been insane. Rocked we're us. two years in and we're still fighting it. Yeah. So um, I hope the essential and frontline workers get all the love and support they need because they're the freaking heroes getting us through this shit. Yep. Krista at KMW Man. Shout out to Jess and Cass, my best friend at It's Laura Marie V, who is the most incredible best friend human being in the world. She always brings so much positive energy and bright light to the world, and I am so thankful for her. Aw, love a little best friend. Yeah, I love, I'm so glad, you know, best friends are important. They're very important and very underrated. And if you find one, hold on to that shit. Yep. Uh, oh, hashtag 4HW right squad 5H at <laughs> Lens Gal 28. Oh, shit. Fuck a mouthful. There you go, right squad. <laughs> Mad joke. Uh, shout out to Jess and Cass for being so incredible, entertaining, and for having <laughs> cry laughing every week. For having me cry laughing every week. There you go. I'd also like to shout out at Stephanie Hypes and at it, it's El Silva 01. For being such incredible friends and for always spreading positivity and just the best pals. Yes. Love it. You know, shout out to everyone meaningful in your life. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm a friend one. Mike Stevens at Mike Makes Right says shout out to Bob for sharing his jokes with us. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, seriously. Thank you. I shout know. out to me, Dad. Every week he's got something new and I love it. Mate, he, They're only um, getting stronger every week. He... <laughs> I will admit, some of the stuff that he sends me, I can't say that. <laughs> Why? Like, it, it, it's just, it was one, it was like a bloody sex joke. Yeah. But no, but it was like a real one that he had, like, it was like a, <laughs> something that happened with him and my mum. I was like, Dad, I don't want to say that on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why not? I we need to hear like, it. Oh, my god. Maybe, well, we've got that segment coming up, so maybe okay. I'll it. Okay. Uh, J Rock at J Mike 1993. Shout out to my beautiful wife and kids for giving me the strength to continue on in this thing we call life. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Simple as it gets. Shit. Yeah. Shout out to them. Yep. Now this last one, Cass. Yeah, I see my name, name on, it. on it. Okay. Specifically for you, a little surprise for you. Do you know what it is? I Did do. you put one in yourself? I didn't, but Snoogs uh, showed me and uh, Snoogs chose it and said, no, this is an important one. 
Oh, so gosh, this is for you to finish it off. All right. Gosh. Oh, this is from my best friend Ashley. Is this mm-hmm. going to make me cry? Maybe. To my best friend. She knows who she is. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> who through all of life's adversities has come out the other side and has been brave enough to show the world who she is. I'm honoured and grateful every day. I know her and love her. The best person I have ever known. Oh, my gosh. And Ash is a sweetheart. Like if you oh. – like she's like – if, if I could define a saint, it's her. It's probably her. She's I put a picture of her. the kindest. Just a big heart. Yeah. Big heart. Yeah. Uh, very giving. Beautiful person. Yeah, she gives so much of herself and doesn't want anything. I'd say her. nothing in return. Yeah. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, beautiful. Sorry about um, Snoogs' ugly ass writing on the back. No, of her. that's I'm not sorry. bad writing. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, yeah, little. Love you. Little uh, love to, to yes. spread. Which yes. I like. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, Bob's dad. And now, pork chops, it's time for Bob's your dad. And we're back. Is it a sex one? I'll say the sex one just <laughs> Yes. We might as well. Um, <laughs> so this is an experience he had. Well, okay, I'll just, let's just say it. So there was one that he, he did send and I was like, I'm not saying that. And I didn't save that because it was it was something about sex in a hallway and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Dad, no, I, I can't. So then he sent me this one and I was like, all oh, right, I can shit. say this one. Okay. <sighs> Mum's pickup line to me on the disco – oh, sorry, at the disco on the Fairstar cruise ship where they met. Oh, wow. She goes, how about I sit on your lap – and we'll talk about whatever pops up. <laughs> and then my dad goes, shit, you'll be waiting a while. <laughs> um, and that's oh, and that's the truth. Yeah, that's yeah. how it happened. Oh, I love um, that. We yeah. needed that in our um, pickup line segment from we, a while yeah, back. Yeah, we did. That would have been good. Oh, gosh. Uh, the Fairstar cruise ship. Never even heard of that. Bloody in the, gosh, where did they met? I, I want to say that was the 70s. Yeah. Probably, my brother um, was born in 82, so it was like late Anuatu. 70s. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, so bless your heart, Dad. Thank you for sharing, um, <laughs> giving me insight to you and Mum's sex life. Uh, adventures. I would actually like to hear more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll see what we've got. Um, so now we are doing, ooh, spelling bee sentence words. Lug over your bloody Mac. Let's get it started. Look, this segment is getting really hard. I feel like – sorry, just FYI. Yeah. I would love to name your laptop. Why? Just because it's a part of like the bloody Wilson. show. Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> Wilson, yeah. Wilson. <laughs> Damn, Wilson. I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's Wilson got for me today? Spell this word. Okay. Thonic. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thonic. Thonic. Yep. Thon ick. <laughs> T-H. Uh, thon. <laughs> thon. Thon ick. It's not. Is it, okay, sorry. I went two letters. Can I just start again? Sorry. T. No. Okay, so it's not T. <laughs> S? No. Oh. I'll give you one more. Okay. Thon ick. No S and no T. Do you know this word, Snooks? Yeah. Oh, am I saying it right? I'm oh. not. <laughs> Shit. I, I Googled the pronunciation. How do you say it? Okay. okay. Um, thonic. And it's not S and it's not T. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh. Thon- thon- <laughs> uh, D. No. <sighs> C. Ah. <laughs> H. T H O N I C. Damn, hard one. What does it mean? Concerning, belonging to, or inhabiting the underworld. And how do you think you say it, Snooks? Phonic. Phonic. Wait, is that the same word? No. Different word, yeah. Ah, okay. So she was right. You were oh, good. You were on the right. Yeah, yeah. you good. This one's easier. Okay. okay. It's a vehicle. Mm-hmm. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Yep. Volkswagen. Yep. V. Yep. O. Yep. L. Yep. K. Yep. E. No. Volks. S. Yes. W. Yep. A. Yep. G. Yep. O. No. No. O. No. Volks. E. Yep. N. Good job. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I had two 
exorcism. You did. You did. Shit. That was your last chance. Hi. Use this word in a sentence. Hit me. A plum. <laughs> a plum. A plum. A plum. Um, I went to <laughs> Universal Studios and rode the Hulk coaster. <laughs> and as I was a plum, <laughs> the top, he <we> descended <laughs> down. And you wait, so you were a plum at the top? Yep. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Help me out with this. Okay. A plum, self confidence or assurance, especially when in a demanding situation. So you could have been mm. confident at the top, you weren't scared. Does that. You know what? I'll, I'll meet you halfway, <laughs> half point. <laughs> Half point because it wasn't what I was going for, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the point. Okay. Use this word in a sentence. Chuck. Easy, easy one. Easy. Charcuterie. Ah, <laughs> easy. Charcuterie. Mm. Charcuterie. Uh, bloody, uh, meat cheese board. Yeah. Uh, had a had a games night, <laughs> and uh, decided to put a little charcuterie uh, charcuterie. board <laughs> board out for everyone. Yeah, and they enjoyed it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> A lot of good chuck board. Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, I don't need my phone. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Spelling bee. Yeah. Spell. Hit me. Tourniquet. Tourniquet. Mm-hmm. T. Mm-hmm. O. Mm-hmm. U. Mm-hmm. R. Mm-hmm. N. Mm-hmm. E. Mm-mm. I. Yep. Q. Yep. U. Yep. E. Yep. T. Bam. A tightly compressed bandage. Hell yeah. Nailed it. I thought that was um, – oh, no, I was thinking gurney. <laughs> A gurney. <laughs> I was thinking gurney. <laughs> well, at least I was right. Good. Good start. Uh, next word. Yeah. Spell. Exhilarate. Exhilarate. E. E. <laughs> e. E. X. Yes. H. Yes. I. Yes. L. Yes. E. At. Ooh. E. <laughs> e. X. H. I. L. I no fuck. <laughs> I really need a pen. <laughs> Every week I need a pen. <laughs> yeah, can you uh, don't ch- no why no it's no it's no pen why thank you okay <laughs> don't, don't listen to your wife that's fine <laughs> happy wife happy life all right <laughs> exhilarate e x h i l what have I said you said e and i e and i so it's an a yep. E X H I exhilarate. E X H I L A R A T E. Didn't even bloody need the fucking sharpie. Exhilarate. We could play. Um, what's that game called? Hangman. What's that? What's that? I Exhilarate. Good go. one. Sentence words. Yes. Oh. oh, you don't even know how to pronounce it. No, nah, I chose another one. <laughs> huh? Yeah, okay. Ah, sorry. I did this last week too. I wrote down like how to the s- sound. Yeah. Yep, I need to do that. Because a plum uh, had a B on the end, Oh, I, I think. Oh, this is from the pork chop. Yep. Okay. Oh. So uh, pork chop sent a word in yeah. and Snugs saw it. Yeah. That's why I forgot to. Itchy nose. Uh, okay, ready? Yep. Chachka. 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 One more time. Chachka. Chachka. Chachka? Chachka. 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 Is this English? <laughs> yep. Chachka. Chachka. Okay, Chachka. Chachka. Okay. <clears throat> We had planned to go four wheel driving with the family. However, the conditions were charge car <laughs> and couldn't go. <laughs> Do you know what charge car is? No, but that was so fucking good what you just said. Oh, gosh. That's amazing. Uh, but no. Okay. Damn. Uh, a, small ob- <laughs> a small object that yeah. is decorative rather than functional. Oh. And that was from at Khan Rodtuba. Right, so it's a little knick-knack. A little knick-knack. Dang it. Okay, chachka. Next one. 
Sentence word. Use yeah. this word in a sentence. Yeah. Soubrette. 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 Open up. Get the vibe. vibe. Soubrette. Soubrette. Went to the hairdressers. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the hairdressers. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me start again. I <laughs> had an event. Oh. <laughs> so I went to the hairdressers to get a superette for the evening. Ah, no. No, fuck. I thought it was uh, like barrette. A female with a high vocal range. Ah, superette. No. Yeah, okay. Not even close. Not even close, mate. Shit. Got to shit. Ooh. <laughs> I just threw it, almost hit Snooks in the head. <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, let's finish it off with some questions and answers. And answers. You ask the questions and we give you the answers. It is time for the questions of, of the, the week. week. No, no, no. Go. If you could go on any game show, which would you choose? Game show? Yeah. I don't really know many, to be honest. I don't watch them. I always loved Wheel of Fortune growing up. Actually, in Australia, that was always like the, the big one, hey? Wait, what was the one where it was like, come on down? Price is right. Price is right. That I was a fun one. one. Yeah, got good prizes. Uh, who dares wins? Who dares wins? In Australia. Remember that one? Remember that one, Rob Dog? Who dares wins? Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was like Fear Factor, right? Kind of, yeah, like the Aussie version. No? He's kind not. Of. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's like, nope. Um... Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a fucking dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dropped it. This one's from the Snoogs. Uh, Kai Dola at Neglected Neopet. Wow. Uh, I have a question lush? about the wrestling business I've been curious about and hopefully yep. they can answer. Sure. We can. <laughs> With their returns imminent. Ooh. Love that word. <laughs> Is it commonplace for friends in the business to know where they will be debuting or is it taboo? To talk about it. Does that mean not talk about it? Like, <laughs> thanks for my, thanks for the great show. I listen every week and Aww. it makes my Fridays feel less like work. Oh, I love that. That's, you know, that's why we wanted this yeah. to be available for your Fridays. For Friday. Yeah. Get you through the last day before the weekend. Yeah. Something to look forward to. Um, No, we keep it very private. Yeah, we do keep it private. We don't tell there's, shit. There's no, we don't want any, you know, anything to get out, get leaked. Like, no. Nah. And if somebody knows something, it's not like they would go share it. But if they accidentally slip up, yeah, exactly. Then it's like wildfire. Yeah, and everyone has a husband, wife, yeah, best friend, dog, and yeah. Then there's always that knows. at least that one person that you who's going to know. I won't tell anyone, but there's always the one person you tell. You're yeah, that person, exactly. <laughs> and it's funny when <laughs> I remember when people would want to tell us goss. And they'd be, and they'd we'd be both standing there, and they go, "You can't say anything." And I said, "Honestly, the she's only the only person, person I would tell." And she's standing right here, so you're good. <laughs> and they're like, "Okay, <laughs> that's good." Um, are there any noises that make you irrationally angry? Hmm. I hate hearing people chew. Yeah, I don't like that either. Snorts us that sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Sleepy. Do you chew with your mouth open? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's one sound that he does and it's funny. So like uh, we'll be laying in bed and we'll usually like have a sh- – like we'll watch them with a laptop just to fall asleep. Not not often but sometimes okay. we will. Do you have a TV in your bedroom? No. Okay. I don't have a t- – we just use a laptop. Yeah. So we'll just have that in bed and I'll say if you want to go to bed, yeah. just tell me. Mm. Easy pause, yeah. close, yeah. pick up where we left off. Totally. He never fucking tells me. And he just goes to sleep. And he always falls asleep and I know because I hear the sound – He's breathing. Just breathing deeply. And I go, are you asleep? And he goes, just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. And then That's I go, so cute. sweetie, we can go to bed. Just tell me because I've just watched 10 minutes and now you have oh. to find 10 minutes where you – and I'm just like – it annoys me. Well, he probably doesn't realise he's dozing off. He probably has every intention to watch it with you. You know you're tired. If you're like <laughs> – if there's a moment yeah. where you go, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. There's a moment. Yeah. And he just goes – well, fuck you. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, what about you? Are you chewing with your mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Good one. Or even you can chew with your mouth closed, but when you hear the food in the mouth. Yeah, that's a, it's it's gross. And Place I can music. feel when I am doing that, like yeah. if you're eating something crunchy. Yeah, I don't like that. No, don't like that feeling. 
Out of the two of you, who would cook the better pork chop? You. I've never cooked pork in my life. Me either, but. You're going to put that. Okay. Well, see, pulled pork's easy because I have cooked that in the slow cooker. Yeah. But you literally dump that shit in and put it on for eight hours yeah. and it does it by itself. Yeah. A pork chop, very hard. And of all the cooking shows I've watched, that's very hard to Oh, pull. really? Yeah. Because you can have it kind of medium-ish mm-hmm. where it's pink in the middle Ugh. and that would freak me out. Yeah. So I feel like I would burn the shit out of it just because I can't yeah. – like a steak I can have medium rare but but What's, seeing it pork, like I don't know, it, it rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> it rubs you the wrong rubs way. Rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Give me it charred. Give me it black. Charred, that's so bad for Burnt. you. Yeah. Huh. My turn. Pick a movie to remake with you recast as the lead character. A movie together for us? Is that what that, sure. that is? You know what I would really like to do together? What? Like a buddy cop movie. Oh, that'd be so funny. Like uh, The Heat with Melissa yes. McCarthy. Um, yes. Yeah. And uh, Sandra like, Bullock. Yeah. Or something like uh, White Chicks. White Chicks. Oh, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> I love that movie. Um, I would also – Robbie Michelle's High School Union would be good. Oh, yes. You made the poster? <laughs> that'd be fun. Someone uh, – Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seven Bucks Productions. <laughs> At the rock, <laughs> let us know what you want, mate. DJ, <laughs> Dwayne, <laughs> would you rather go skydiving or swim with sharks? Fuck, swim with sharks, swim with sharks, and no fucking way I'm jumping out of a damn airplane. <laughs> airplane, <laughs> airplane. <laughs> I for sure thought you would have picked the plane. Mm-hmm. Nope, you would swim with the sharks. Like that's two of your biggest fears. So it's weird. I'm not afraid of heights. Yeah, but the idea of Jumping out of a plane. Yeah. I I don't know if I could do that. At least with the sharks. Like, And it's funny because I hate sharks and I hate drowning. Yeah. Like, that's my biggest fear. Yeah. But I feel like the cage is like – and I'm claustrophobic. Fucking hell. Yeah. Um, But I feel like it's just – But the, You can the, see where you're – Yeah, but the aeroplane, like someone's going to push you out. Like they're going to be with you. Yeah, because Snooks did skydiving. You for did? His, was it your 18th birthday? Yeah, they surprised him. Oh, God. I would not um, be surprised Would you do that, that again? Would you do skydiving again? Or you like you would? You like wow. Yeah. Oh, what and about then, bungee jumping. Fuck no. Couldn't pay me to do that. No. <laughs> you want to wrap a bloody rope around my leg and get me to jump off a bridge? Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> and then you see the ones where they jump out and they dive and then it goes boom and it like snaps them back. Yeah. Breaking them fucking neck and ankles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean so you probably don't. Passionate. People do it every day. <laughs> but no. No. <sighs> couldn't pay me. Second last one. Okay. Start hopping it up now. <laughs> What would you tell your younger self? Um. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just like ate the microphone. <laughs> Hate when your teeth hit it. Yeah, that's oh, what I just did. Hate it. Oh, God. What would you say? Um, There's so many things. I would just say trust yourself. Yeah. Trust your instincts. Trust your gut. I would say... It's all going to be okay. Yeah. Because that's hard. Yeah. When you're young, you think everything is like the biggest thing ever. Totally. Um, And also something about social media, just because we were talking about it, like just be prepared for that shit when it gets invented. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'll read that. Yeah. And you're beautiful. And you're beautiful. Yeah. You're in that confidence. I got the last one. Yeah. Last one. Pork chop. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Fight a chicken every time you get into a car or a chimpanzee once a year, but you get a sword. What the <laughs> fuck? Fight a chicken every time you get into a car or fight a chimpanzee once a year, but you get a sword. I am baffled by this question. I mean, I don't want to have a sword with any type of animal. Yeah. So I feel like I just get do the fucking chicken. Yeah. Grab it by the get the <laughs> <laughs> neck or feet, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they grab them with the freaking get out because they got a fucking. <laughs> Flexible necks, right? Then the, can they turn all the way around? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be right. Oh, uh, yeah, would you, I would pick the chicken, chicken? too. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine fighting a chimpanzee with the sword? <laughs> what the f- yeah. Are you expected to stab it? Like what is that? <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting. 
expecting this response. <laughs> oh I've my never gosh. heard of that question. Thank you for thinking oh, outside the shit. box, though. Yes. Damn. I specified. <laughs> Whoo! Fuck. Right way to oh end it. Oh my gosh. Whoo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my back hurts from laughing. <laughs> I'm getting old, man. Oh, shit. shit. All right. All right. <laughs> that episode's done. Wrap it. Wrap it up, guys. Fuck. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Pig's dead and we're out. Um, as, as always, always we, we love and appreciate, appreciate you. you. <laughs> Take care, pork chops. Don't forget to follow us on the socials. At Off Her Chops. At Cassie Lee. At Jessica McKay. And don't forget to slay your day.